What's going on, everyone? Hope you're doing well. We'll make it quick today. We will uh, preview the questions. Some people have already started. And then um, we'll read like a paragraph today. The hardest part for me was figuring out how to pronounce all these Egyptian pharaohs slash gods. Because remember, I think I didn't probably emphasize that enough yesterday, is that these pharaohs, yes, they were kings, but they mentioned in the article that they were divine also. So they were almost like gods. For the Egyptians, they were chosen by their gods. So they were almost like gods on earth. So that was kind of important. Uh, Pharaoh, not exactly like king, a little bit like king. So let's go over the questions, read a paragraph with some very difficult words. I'll have some examples of the pronunciations of these words, even though I'm not sure that they're correct. And then we'll watch maybe my favorite episode uh, from Simon Wilson and the Seven Wonders, and that is Petra. Almost dropped my glasses. Petra and Jordan. All right, so let me, oh, I forgot to, oh, hang on, really quickly. I forgot to share what I want here. I think it's this. Nope. It is this. So these are the questions right here. Let me bring them up on screen a little bit bigger for you. So obviously, what's your name? Shouldn't be too bad. What were pyramids used for in ancient Egypt? So in this one, it's probably going to be rather short short and to the point, maybe you didn't even have to read the article to know this, but you don't have to go over like what each one represents. There will be a time for that, but just what were the pyramids designed for? Okay. Who are the pharaohs and what role did they play in Egyptian society? So I, I kind of already answered that a little bit right there. How did the pyramids evolve from the earliest structures? I think it, we're actually going to read that today. Where are the Great Pyramids of Giza located and who are they built for? So remember, there are three of those. And then you probably want to mention which one, uh, who each of those were built for. I mean, Giza. But you also might want to talk about what you saw in the video yesterday about in relation to like a large city like Cairo, where are these things located? We know the city of Giza, but... And then the last one. How were the pyramids constructed and what challenges did the workers face? Now you can see, let me share this part here. You can see that there is a quiz at the end and I think it's a little bit harder. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Let me get to it. Sorry. This, this, there we go. So at the end of this, there is a quiz. And come on. I think that's like way Way harder for the end of the year here. So we're not going to do that. We will just start reading uh, right here. So this little bit that we will read, but there are a couple pretty hard word, mastabas. So yeah, you're going to want to put that, I think, in uh, question number three, mastabas. Uh, the early pyramids right here. Starting in about 2950 BC. So if you look back, this is when the pyramids started being built. So this is about 600 years earlier, give or take. Royal tombs were carved into rock. They were then covered with flat-roofed rectangular structures known as mastabas. The pyramids we know developed from these mastabas. The oldest known pyramid in Egypt was built around 2630 BC for King... I did look that up. It's basically the D is silent. Djoser at Saqqara. I do have this. I don't know if this uh, really helps or not, but I looked this up and there are a bunch of different ways. Well, different people that pronounce it. So I'm kind of the same. Saqqara. 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 You can see that person from Singapore. Saqqara. Then like this random Sakara. Sakara. So something like that. Um, where is it? I will share this now. Sakara. And then there's one more kind of hard thing to pronounce. And I just hopefully 
This is known as a step pyramid. It was surrounded by a complex of courtyards, temples, and shrines where Dozier would enjoy his afterlife. The earliest tomb constructed as a true smooth sided, not stepped. So you can see here, this is uh, definitely stepped. Not stepped pyramid was the red pyramid at Dasher. Dasher. I think that's how you say it. Dasher. This was one of the three burial structures built for the first king of the fourth dynasty. I do have a pronunciation for this because it could be hard. And remember, dynasty is um, no set amount of years on this thing with the dynasty. It's just like when one family stops ruling and another one takes over, maybe because of war or something like that, or the bloodline dies out. But you'll hear first dynasty, sixth dynasty. There's no set number. of. It's not like 100 years. Okay. And I got this here. I don't know. Maybe this is how you, I just no real good consensus on how to say these things. Snafru. 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 Hmm. All right. We'll go with that. Snafru. I don't know. Make that bigger. Make me smaller. Almost done here. Snafru, who ruled from, now notice this is going to be a bigger number because it's like a negative number. 2613 BC to 2589 BC. It was named for the color of limestone blocks used to construct the pyramid's core. All right, and we will uh, take a look at that diagram tomorrow. The Great Pyramids of Giza, the end of the pyramid era, and then very short pyramids today. All right, so for the rest of the time here, Hey, remember, um, I'm not going to be in school tomorrow. I'm going down to Connecticut, pick up my son. I'll be back on Friday, though. I think we'll watch that um, that movie that people were talking about. All right, and um, about Pompeii. Um, yeah, I'm at a loss for words. So I think it's a good time for me to put on Simon Wilson, work on um, the Google form in class, a little bit of Criers Cross, and then out of here. Hopefully not too bad. All right. Adios.